Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Tuesday the 20th of March and this is my daily video. Just picking one of our stock signals for trading the fifth. Our members have the opportunity to download spreadsheets every day for long and short trades on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame. I also produce these videos to help people learn how to set these types of trades up. So in the members area, quite simple, either potential long or potential short trades. Click on there and our members click on the image and download the spreadsheet. So have a look at the spreadsheet today. Now I've gone for longs. Now we did have a big bearish day yesterday and there's lots of potential longs setting up on the 60 minute. Now these are only good if the markets turn bullish today. But the, what the beauty of this particular membership site is and these scan results are you have the opportunity to set up potential longs and shorts every day especially in these current market conditions where we are really unsure whether we're going to have long or short days so going down to these shorter time frames uh, on the 60 minute looking for these fifth wave moves um, is really of benefit in these types of market conditions so let's have a look at a chart for day one that i've chosen So I've chosen keys on the 60 minute time frame. Um, basically our filter, filtration system on the scanners uh, give us the 535 oscillator down here at the bottom in green and red, uh, pulling back between 90 and 140%. You can see it also filtered out the wave four pullbacks, found support in our automated um, probability zones and stochastics crossed over in the oversold zone. Uh, for the members, um, how we isolate, how isolated this is, we've got a six-day range-bound period here on the 60-minute time frame in February. So I, at the low point of this, I isolated the wave count. You see, we've got an ABC correction. We pulled back quite deep on this, so we didn't get uh, the the Elliott wave rules didn't um, give us the wave one until this point here, wave two wave three and then the wave four into our automated pullback zones this is the Elliott wave indicator suite from wave five trade for the ninja trader platform but it also is available for thinkorswim trade station and multi charts so let's zoom in and figure out how the entry strategy is going to go here so quite simply the wave four has found support in our amber zone this is an 80 percent probability if it finds support here it should go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones here in blue. So our targets are around about 56, something like that, in this target zone here. So with the wave force pulled back, we're looking for an entry. Usually we go uh, outside of the 6-4 moving average high, which is the green moving average here. But we've just got to be a little bit, be a little bit more conservative uh, in these types of markets. So I wanted to go above this doji pivot here uh, where the cursor is. This was a recent attempt uh, to, to go out, but it failed. And we want to be just above there. So that's a nice conservative entry. The stop loss is at 52.13, one cent below the wave four. We're not interested in any further move downs. We've got a nice conservative entry. So it's got to break through the 6.4 moving average high, continue to move higher, and then entry at 53.74. And as you can see here, we've got a target zone, uh, top end of the target zone, 56.40. So the risk to reward into the target zone here is 1 to 1.6. So a decent risk to reward while still remaining conservative just in case the markets turn bearish. Um, but I would say if we get a bullish move all the way through here, we've got a good chance of this uh, stock uh, continuing on in its overall short term bullish trend. So that's it for today on keys on the 60 minute. Just a reminder, entry at 53.74, stop loss at 52.13 and your targets around about 56.30. That's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.